The harsh truth we have to accept is that to win this war, we need more than heroics. Valiant knights might exist in fairy tales, but in reality, we need professionals. Professionals who are used to the violent nature of the world, who are tactical in their approach and aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. For a price, of course. After all, it's the gleam of gold that they are truly pursuing. One of these men arrives at the hamlet, and though he speaks very little, it pays to be the strong, silent type. To those around him, he is the bounty hunter. But his real name is Tardif. He is a man of few words, and chooses to let his actions speak for himself. We see this best in his backstory. In a remote tavern, a barmaid is bringing another round of drinks to the table of a crime lord. When the door bursts open, revealing the bounty hunter, holding a bounty notice with a representation of his mask, the criminals spring into action, but Tardif was prepared. He threw his flash pellets, blinding the thugs one by one. He decapitates or strangles them until only the kingpin is left. In the aftermath, we see the crime lord with a bounty on his chest and blood pouring out of his mouth from where his teeth once resided. The barmaid looks on, stunned by what she just witnessed. Taken at face value, we can see how brutal and strategic Tardif is in combat. But what else does this tell us about him? I have two interpretations of these events. The first is that the bounty he is holding is for him. Maybe he once worked with these crime lords as their enforcer or hitman, taking out rival criminal organizations for payment. But when the time came to pay Tardif, they instead bribed the authorities to place a bounty on his head. When Tardif saw his own wanted poster on the bulletin, he decided to hunt down these criminals himself, writing his own list of all those he plans to kill. Hence the quote on the Crimson Court trinkets, they will pay. They will pay, either in coin or blood. The second option is that it's for more personal reasons. Maybe these criminals disfigured him in some way, and he's constantly wearing that mask to hide the injury. He will even mention how the mask is his true face. Maybe they took away someone he loved, like a family member, or a pet. Since he has a few quotes referencing animals, he decided to hunt down the men who hurt him, writing down his kill list. The paper he's holding isn't a wanted poster, it's a calling card to the others on the list. They will pay. Whichever way we choose to interpret it, one thing is clear. He's an expert at what he does, and he doesn't do it for free. Armed with his axe, hook, and an assortment of tools, he does his best work when he focuses on a single target, cutting them down to size with his axe, or pulling them closer with his hook. He also uses flash pellets to blind and disorient, and caltrops to bleed them out, making them easier targets to hunt. Even without his weapons, his own fists can still knock out enemies, and his armor grants him a balanced level of protection and mobility. But it's not just his brute strength that makes him a force to be reckoned with. It's his preparedness for any situation he finds himself in. Studying his enemies, learning their weaknesses, and knowing how to capitalize on it is what makes him so dangerous. Bigger threats are not an issue for him, since he's used to hunting down large bounties for large rewards. Even if they run, he will find them tracking them down only to launch a surprise attack. He probably spends his spare time in the tavern, either on a hearty drink or playing games of chance. 
but don't think that he's truly on our side. Remember, he is only here for the money. His goal is to make as much money as he can doing what he does best, killing things. However, the real wealth of the estate isn't in the coins and jewels, but rather in the rare antiques we find. And only one person knows what to look for. She has devoted her life to researching and acquiring the rarest relics, and is seeking to add more to her massive collection, no matter the cost. <laughs>